What's up, my Sojo fam? <sighs> Happy New Year to you guys. Can you believe 2021 is over? I mean, let's get straight. I mean, 2020 has felt like, or 2021 has felt like an extension of 2020. And I'm so glad that 2021 is over, but I'm so excited, truly so excited about the opportunities that 2022 can bring. Now, despite all of the ups and all of the downs that 2021 has brought, God has been incredibly faithful to our church. Can I please get an amen there? If you have not seen God grow us both as a people, but also numerically and everything in between in 2021, you have not had your eyes open. And I cannot wait this Sunday to do two things. Number one, to celebrate you guys of all the faithfulness that God has brought to our church in 2021, despite all of the downs and despite all of the ups, God has been incredibly faithful to our body. And I just want to take a few moments this Saturday Sunday to truly celebrate the faithfulness of God throughout this tumultuous season that we've been in. And then also for you and I to take an inward look at ourselves and say, you know what? I want to be better in 2022. I want something more for my life. I know you feel it. I know I feel it. So let's do it together. So I hope that you guys will join us this Sunday as we have a celebration Sunday, but also as we kick off a brand new series through the book of Exodus called A New Beginning. As these people cross over from the Red Sea and get into this new place that God is going to teach them a lesson and the people that he's preparing them to be. And that's the same lesson that we're going through. God is preparing us as a people. He wants to do more inside of us. And guys, I've got one of the greatest words I have ever preached on the freaking planet this coming Sunday. And it's going to rain. And so I just want to encourage you like right now to make that decision. Hey, we're going to be at church on Sunday despite the weather because God's got something for me there. And not only does God got something for you individually, but he's got something for all of us corporately as a people. So please, please, please start your year off right this Sunday here at church. And then one thing that just want to make you aware of that's going to be incredibly cool. I have like, I think... I think I've heard the reverberations of the people in the church. And uh, one thing that I feel like that people are clamoring for is, is real fellowship, rubbing shoulders with one another, this idea of koinonia, this idea that we are, you know, together. And so one thing that we're going to do that's very special is coming up on January 30th. We're going to do what's called a, a love feast. Now that has a weird sound to it, but it's got a biblical connotation. Now, Love Feast, all it's going to be is just an old school potluck after church. But we're going to do something a little different with it. We're going to serve communion during our potluck and, and share stories with one another about the faithfulness of God, as well as kind of give some like little insights into different people's story, what God's done for them in 2021. And we hope if this is wildly successful as we Think it really will be that it's something we'll continue every fifth Sunday throughout the year. We're going to have this idea of love feast where we're going to all come together and hang out and share a meal together and get to get to know the other people that have been coming to Sojo. Here are some of the stories of what God's doing through God's people. I really believe that it's going to be something that's going to be incredible. So just prepare your heart. We're gonna we're gonna serve the the big like the big like the main side the main dishes like chicken or whatever that is, and just ask you guys to bring the sides. And let's just have a good old fashioned potluck, as Baptist folks would call it. But we're gonna call it love feast because it's a little bit more than just eating. It's it's us getting together and sharing the faithfulness of God and enjoying one another's company as God's people, and then take communion together. It's truly going to be a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. So I want to prepare your mind and heart right now and make sure that you set apart that day because it's going to be a special day. It really is. So just this coming up Sunday, like start your year off right and just know it's going to rain. And so that's automatically like, I don't want to go to church today. So go ahead and put it in your heart, put it in your spirit. I know it's going to rain, but I want to be at church on Sunday because God's going to do something incredible. I really, really believe that wholeheartedly. So please make sure your tail is here. And I'll see you guys this Sunday as we kick off a brand new beginning, as we celebrate together and we explore what it means in 2020, 2022 that maybe, just maybe, man, we get out of this whole pandemic thing 
and we get to not live life as it was, but get to go into that new place that God's truly been preparing us through this pandemic to go to. I can't wait to see you guys. It's going to be amazing. God bless you guys.